A compact disc, CD, is an optical disc storage medium used for digital data storage, including music, video, and other types of data. Here's a general overview of how a CD works. Physical structure. A CD is a flat, circular disc typically made of polycarbonate plastic. The surface of the disc is reflective and coated with a thin layer of aluminum. Information is stored on the disc in the form of microscopic pits and lands. Pits and lands? The data on a CD is represented by variations in the surface of the disc. Pits are depressions in the surface, while lands are flat areas between the pits. These variations create a pattern that is read by a laser in the CD player. Data encoding? CDs use a method called pulse code modulation, PCM, to encode digital information. The pits and lands on the CD's surface represent the ones and zeros of binary code. The length and arrangement of these pits and lands encode the audio or other data on the disc. Laser reading. To read the data from a CD, a laser beam is directed onto the reflective surface of the disc. The laser is typically red infrared for standard CDs. When the laser encounters a pit, some of the light is scattered, and when it encounters a land, more light is reflected back. Photo detector. A photo detector positioned near the laser detects the reflected light. The variations in light intensity correspond to the transitions between pits and lands. The photo detector converts these variations into an electrical signal, analog to digital conversion. The electrical signal is then converted from analog to digital. This process is essential for reproducing the original digital information stored on the CD accurately. Error correction. CDs include error correction mechanisms to account for scratches, dust, or other imperfections that might affect the disc's surface. The Reed-Solomon code is commonly used for error correction on CDs. Decoding. The digital signal is decoded, and the original digital data is retrieved. In the case of audio CDs, this data represents the sampled audio waveforms. Digital to analog conversion, if necessary. For audio CDs, the digital data is converted back into an analog signal using a digital-to-analog converter, DAC. This analog signal is then sent to the audio output for playback through speakers. Playback. The decoded and, if necessary, converted signal is sent to the playback device's output, whether it's audio for speakers or video for a display. Motor control. The CD player has a motor that rotates the disc at a constant speed to ensure a steady flow of data. The rotation speed is typically around 500 to 200 revolutions per minute, RPM. Tracks and sectors. Similar to other storage media, CDs are organized into tracks and sectors. Tracks are concentric circles on the disc, and sectors are pie-shaped divisions within each track. The data is organized in a spiral pattern from the center to the outer edge of the disc. CDs revolutionized the way digital data is stored and played back offering a high-capacity, portable, and durable medium for various applications, including music, software distribution, and multimedia presentations. However, with the advent of digital downloads, streaming services, and other storage media CDs have become less prevalent in recent years.